So does gender matter? It does. Let me just begin by reminding everybody that when I joined the court, our court, the Washington State Supreme Court, for the first time in history, now has a supermajority female presence on that court. Gender matters. <laughs> you know, when the invitation to participate in this TEDx event came to the Supreme Court, I must admit that I jumped at the opportunity to say yes. And I said yes because I wanted the opportunity to have a conversation with you. You, I mean you, the women in this facility. I wanted to have a conversation because before I came to the state Supreme Court, I was a trial court judge for 14 years. And every Friday for those 14 years, I sentenced people to prison and to jail. And so there are some things that I think are important that I'd like to say to you. So first, let me assure you that sentencing anyone to jail or to prison is not easy. It's not easy. Second, I learned over those 14 years that life is complex, that life is complicated. It's complicated by poverty, it's complicated by addiction, it's complicated by mental health issues, but I want you to know, I understand that it's complicated. The one thing I also want you to know, and this is really important, as I also learned that each one of us is more than our past. You are more than your past. You are more than events. You are more than a mistake. And I want you to believe that. You are more than your past. So who are you? Each one of us is also our dreams, our desires, our future. You are more than your past. You have dreams, desires, and that is also who you are. And you need to hold on to it. So many of you are thinking, perhaps, there's never an end to my time here. And I want to focus you for a few moments on you and re-entry. You will re-enter society. You will join us and your communities. You will come home to us. Like Star, she now has a vision of when she's rejoining our community. You will rejoin us. And my job is to remove those barriers so that you are a member of our community. But re-entry is about you facing your challenges here and now. It's up to you to make the choices to believe in yourself, to know that you have gifts and talents and much to give us when you leave. You have the possibility of overcoming your own demons, your addictions, of being reunited with your children and your families, and the choice is yours. But I want you to know that I believe that each one of you has that possibility. Each one of you is more than your past. And I'm not here to say, and I'm not going to pretend, that it's easy. I know it's not. I know it's not easy. Each one of us as human beings must recognize we share our common fear of failure. It's often what holds us back from being great. We sell ourselves short. We question whether we can or whether we should or whether I can ever overcome that obstacle. 
and that barrier stands in the way. You know, yesterday and today, I must admit, I've been very anxious about standing up and saying anything without notes. And it was my fear of failure, my fear of standing here and making a mistake and of saying something wrong or sounding foolish. And there was a young woman, actually many of you, but one stands out in my mind, named Michelle, one of the drummers, who yesterday reached out to me and saw how anxious I was. Here I am, State Supreme Court Justice, nervous, afraid, fear of failure. And she gave me comfort. She had the courage to reach out and give me comfort so that I could recognize together as we stood and looked at one another how much more we have in common, our common fear of failure. And I want you to know I struggle with that every single day. And I'm not here to say, so I have failure, so you do too, so get over it. No, the reason why I share our common fear of failure is because I want each one of us to recognize our vulnerabilities, our fears, our anxieties as human traits. But we can overcome that fear of failure by beginning to believe in ourselves. To search for that power within. To see in your own mind's eye yourself someplace else. Somewhere on the horizon, re-entering society and joining us. You have the power within you to overcome any obstacle and any barrier. That power resides within you. You have the power to change. Each one of you have the power and the ability to realize your own dreams to envision in your mind's eye where you'd like to be, and to take the steps to get there. We heard from Star a few moments ago how she discovered what she had to give to so many. And she touches people around the world by the simple act of making a hat for somebody else a cover to keep them warm. Each one of you has the power to realize your dreams, to overcome any barrier that you define for yourself. You can realize your dreams. So what I'd like to say to each one of you today, be women of hope. Believe in yourself. Believe in your capacity to change. Believe that you are more than your past. You have so much to give to us. Be women of hope. Believe in yourself. Thank you.